because a lot of stuff just happened. I don't know if you all heard it, but down there, there was a coyote that bedded down, and I was ready to shoot it. And Lincoln was trying to get over here because I could see it, and this tree was blocking him. So he was trying to get over here. I don't know if, I think the coyote uh, spooked, and it ran over that way. And that deer that I saw over there was trying to get in here. And empty, empty your 209 primer. Yeah, empty that. Oh, you already took it out. That's good. Um, well, let's not load it. You can use my gun if another one comes in. But we're going to give that deer a minute. And we're going to see if it died. Uh, we should be able to find blood really easy. Do you see it? So we'll see if there's blood. Um, if he hit that thing, then it is uh, it's definitely dead, I would say, because of the angle he had. And a muzzle loader tears a big hole. But we will just have to see. But that was a lot of action. And thanks to the coyote, which I would, would have loved to have killed as well, but it's gone now because it hurt that big blast. Yeah, but that's going to be some good eating if we did get the dough. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna give it a few minutes to, to bleed out and stuff. All right, now we're still unsure if he's got it. We just walked to the area to see if he hit it, and that right there means he did hit it. That is a big wad of fur. So when you hit them, that's what happens. So now, now we have to try to look for blood. So we're going to keep looking around here, and when I find blood, I'll, I'll film that too. So right here, right here, we have some blood. Um, if you can see right there, uh, that's pretty chunky. There's like a chunk of something there. That's a good sign. That's, uh, but I'm looking for more blood here. And it's been raining, so that's not gonna help. So we're gonna keep on looking. And we got, we looked at the footage. We know the general direction. So there's the wad of hair and all that. So he did hit it. It's just a matter of did it, did it die? All right, we've been around and around here and we finally found some good blood and that's got some chunky stuff in it. Um, if you look right there, that's got some chunky stuff in it. So we were about to give up, but we're finding some good chunky, chunky stuff here. So I'm on a really good blood trail. So we're just going to keep filming. Oh yeah, there's some more. So I'll film as we get closer and closer. And once we find it, hopefully we'll find it. But that's, that's really good blood right there. So we will check back in a minute. It took us a while to find this blood, but it's looking really good. I'm seeing chunks. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. So we were about to give up hope and it's looking good now. Okay guys, it's picking up. We're getting a lot of good blood. There's the side of the tree here. Uh, yeah, at first we thought it wasn't hit good. Oh, that's chunky stuff. We're gonna find it, I think. We were about to give up hope. Hey, grab the bite out. Okay, just keep it with you. We'll use that to mark our trail. Okay, here we go. More blood. It's bleeding real good. Real good, yeah. Um, I've shot deer in the heart before and found them. They just get adrenaline and they go and they hardly ever they hardly ever just fold up and, and drop. They always run, it seems like. So, all right, we've got really good blood. We're gonna continue. I'll film some more as we find something else. Here's my boy Lincoln. We have tracked this thing. There's my wife, Sonia. 
we have tracked this thing forever we were about to give up on it um and we finally found blood and i told him i was worried um sometimes when you shoot them it was severely quartered away and sometimes when you shoot them they don't bleed for a while like that especially if it didn't exit and then it starts filling up and you know when i start finding the chunky stuff i knew that uh, we had a good chance to find it but it just took us forever to uh to find it so let's see what happens here i, I think i think link's got something to show you you want to hold your gun for, gun for you, yes, sir, if you might want to be careful right there Mostly. careful when you're out there may have to edit that footage out maybe not but we got a little something right there that we have blood trailed it and i just looked up and we got us a little something right here Now, I believe this is your first muzzleload kill, isn't it, bub? And the way that went down, the footage is actually really good because a coyote came and bedded down after we saw the deer. A coyote had come and bedded down. We were getting ready to shoot the coyote, and the deer actually jumped up. <laughs> oh, good blood. You think you found it? So thanks to Mr. Coyote... Beautiful red coyote, if, if there is such a thing. That is a good, perfect size doe. And if we can get that in, we have a good chance to get to the processing place before it close. Well, we don't want to film that because we just want to, we want to see now. Get down there, let's get a trophy shot. Um, yep, just kind of hold it up there. And that's our boy, Lincoln, Golden Squirrel, AKA Golden Squirrel. And he got the uh, muzzle load. We're not gonna get any of the bad footage, you know, anything gory or anything like that. Uh, so that's all we're gonna do um, with that. We wanna keep it clean and, you know, so at this point, it's not that bad. Awesome job, bub. Fist pump. Darth Sloan Jr. right there in action. We're out. is too big and ten yet. It's either us or the squirrel. It acted like it was hit. So it's just an object in the book. At this point, I'm pretty sure that we are going to be defending ourselves against this rabbit squirrel. We may have to get a six five. We may have to pull the six five on it. So stay tuned. Um, it could be getting very dangerous up in very big teeth, kind of like a musk deer. So, it's in that 